here I have a text plane. I want to project that text plane onto the sphere. But uh, first I have to make the text plane editable. If I make a, the text plane editable by pressing C, you'll see that the points, the individual points, are not evenly distributed. Uh, if I want to the spline to be very smoothly uh, projected on this onto the sphere, then they have to have the points have to be evenly distributed on the spline. To do that, I'll use the uh, most spline. So go to the most spline, change the um, change the mode to spline, and then add the add the text spline onto the source spline and change the creation mode to even and make it uh, and you can increase the count if you want but we don't need that I think so just press C to make the most spline editable delete the original spline now if you select the mo the newly created spline you'll see the points are distributed evenly but not only the spline needs to be uh, smooth uh, high in in, in points uh, also the uh, object onto which uh, the spline is projected has to be very high uh, in polygon count so I have to increase the segments to a very high number let's say 70 and then make it edit editable so select the sphere and press C now and then I have to select the spline again select one point press ctrl A to select all the points right click and then uh, select project now there are many modes of projection there's the view mode according to the view how you're viewing uh, the object if I press apply only these points are gonna be projected onto the sphere we don't want that we want it to be projected uh, onto the XY plane so change the mode to XY plane and then press apply you'll see the spline is smoothly projected onto the sphere you can also sweep it uh, by using the sweep object put the spline as a child of the sweep add a circle make it smaller use the scale tool make it smaller add it as a first object make it even small more small like so and let's press NC to get rid of the segments and if you move it select the sweep and move it uh, forward you'll see that the text is uh, nicely projected onto the sphere